You are stone carved, Warden. I've never seen the like. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden, we've got a king because of you. The rest, impressive. But the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the Darkspawn properly. Nay, our place is down here. When you break the Blight, and you've got the skill, we'll make sure they have nowhere to retreat. You'll have us indirectly. That's more than any surfacer can say. No offense, Warden. You have our respect, but we belong here. Each of the Legion knows our home of death. That is the only way we leave. Best of the vein to you, Grey Warden. Until the stones embrace. Take from the memories. Warden, I'm outraged. A thief in the Shapred. What have we been reduced to? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Impressive work, Warden. King Harrimont's impending coronation has been entered into the memories, but I apologize. You do not know me nearly as well as I know you. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. Is there something more I can help you with? That is an odd request, especially for one so new to our city. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn 2,000 years of tradition? Brother Burkle said as much. But Orzammar is more than capable of caring for its own. So far, the world has done quite well without your Maker. I am in no hurry to change that. Now, if there's nothing else... Wherever this chantry has spread among humans, it replaced all beliefs preceding it. Were we to let these preachers into Orzammar, how long before the ancestors stop hearing the voices praising them? I am the man to ask if you wish to access the memories of the ancestors. What is it you would know? Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors, to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to Paragon. A Paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. Branca is a Paragon, now and into death. She was born a smith. But her inventions caught the Assembly's eye. Before she had seen twenty years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her Paragon status. We were a great empire once. We traded with your Tevinter Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Cal Chirac was capital then. But we lost too many battles. We lost our golems and we lost our territory. Now the Empire is simply ruined tunnels filled with darkspawn. They were once our highways beneath the mountains. Now the darkspawn claim them and few venture there, except your order, who enter the deep roads when they retire, so they can die slaughtering as many darkspawn as possible. The Paragon Caradon, a smith of unsurpassed genius, invented the golems. For years they were our weapon against the Darkspawn. One golem is worth a dozen dwarves in battle, but Caradon's tig is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating golems. 
There are books about it along these walls if you would read more. They are to us what a colony is to surfacers. At the other side of the old empire, during the last blight, the kings of Orzammar knew they couldn't hold everything. They sealed the deep roads, abandoning everyone still trapped in far-flung settlements. It was the only way to survive. Kal Shirak is the only other city to outlast the blight. We only rediscovered them recently, and they still haven't forgiven us. Your presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. Thank you so much. Warden. I have heard much about the halls of the Dwarven Kings, but the stories do it no justice. It is so strange, harsh, yet beautiful. And have you seen those tiny pig-like burrowing animals? They are adorable. I wish I could have one as a pet. But they must be hard to catch and... Oh, just ignore me. I'm so silly sometimes. Let's just go. Oh, um, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I, um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the last blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. But no one's been there in generations. No one even knows where it is anymore. Did you find anything while you were there? Any records that might be able to tell? If you can prove it belongs to me, I'd be happy to share whatever is left of the Orton fortune. Oh, well, at least the Taig is there. And you couldn't have explored the whole thing, whatever there is after so long. It's all just a dream anyway. Oh, 
destroyed Aramark. It's about time the assembly saw sense and prepare them. News of the hour. Supporters of disgraced Lord Balin take to the You have done more for us than I ever imagined. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. Have you seen my lunch? It's a piece of lichen bread with a spread of old cheese and shredded dried meat. I'm only asking because you never know who's going to get hungry. Right. Best in... I'm, I'm, I'm only asking because... Right! You've returned. With all the excitement over the new king, I never expected you to remember my poor son. Did you learn anything about my ruck? What is it? Is he dead? Oh, please don't torment me. Crazy? Oh, ancestors, save him. I've heard of this. Lost soldiers turning on each other, eating darkspawn flesh. Is that what happened to my boy? 
Why didn't you bring him home? No. There must be a way. If he lives, there's hope. I have to go to him. He needs me. Oh, he must be so frightened out there, so lonely. I thank you for what you've done. Even if you couldn't be bothered with more. Take this. It's my husband's masterwork, the first shield he smithed. I was saving it for Ruck, but I want you to have it. As my thanks. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Of course. You're back. You got more business for me? Well, our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade, but they look the other way if I share things with my friends. For money. That's what... Do you think the new king will throw some coins for good luck? What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Time for more practice. You're back? But it takes two weeks and four days minimum to make... Child. <laughs> Says the warrior cast's biggest disgrace who spends every hour soaking his beard in cheap ale. Ha! But you haven't even been to the tower yet, have you? Are you thinking about that? Oh, I'm failing to move us forward.
They're making war. Technically, I haven't done anything wrong. We have no business. Unless you want to make a few coins. Not that I'm suggesting anything. But you're holding the prize now. I have a collector in mind. Who actually sells the item doesn't matter. It's your call. As always, I let people make their own decisions. Yes, well, I'll keep my nose clean until you're long gone. How about that? I'm just a businessman. I merely exploit opportunities. I won't get in your way. I'm wondering, Morgan, do you believe in the Maker? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. of the hour, Lord Harrowmont Victoria. Found it. Warden, you have my gratitude. You're a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. At least someone is willing to stand up for tradition. Thank Impressive you. work, Warden. Is there something more I can help you with? Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. All dwarves who die return to the stone as an a paragon is... They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever. We were a great... We traded with your Tevin, but we lost too many battles. We lost our golems, and we lost our... T I will settle your mind if I can, Warden. Your presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has.
Impressive work, Warden. Is there something more I can help you with? Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. We were a great empire, we tra But we lost too many battles. We lost our golems. And we lost our ter- Then perhaps I could ask a service of you. When our warriors brave the tunnels, they're often too busy to see the wonders around them. They leave treasures and ancient manuscripts rotting in the deeps. If you find anything significant to us, we'd pay you well for your fines. Thank you. Now, is there anything more you would know? Please, speak your mind. Your presence here has been recorded in the... of the hour. Harumont is king. What more needs it? Assembly paid you great honor. of the wild? None of the sort you like. No princesses in tall towers or knights throwing themselves at whole armies. That's not all I like. Do you want tales of the chastened wilders who dwell in the marsh? Do you want to hear of the slow deaths they inflict on their enemies? Perhaps a tale of the poisonous creatures of the wilds that lay their eggs on your skin so their young may eat you alive when hatched? Or a tale of my mother's marsh cuisine? That, in my opinion, is the most terrifying of all my tales. Uh, no. I don't want to hear about those things. Then I have no tales for you.
now, yes? Don't hurt me! Ruck will do what you want! No, 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 she cannot! She remembers a boy, a little boy with bright eyes and a hammer, and she cannot see this! I swear, promise, vow you won't tell! No, she can't know! That is why Ruck is here in the darkness, with the scuttering and the shiny. She can't! No. I'm going to find Ruck now. I know. I can save him.
news of the hour. Lord Valen attacks the assembly and is in the So, did you, uh, find anything? You... you found them? Let me see. That's my great-grandmother's name! And her husband! Oh, great ancestors! It's them! It's me! I am an Orton! Oh, thank you! I have to take these to the assembly right away! Find me there! Once these are acknowledged, I'll give you any reward! Impressive work, Warden. King Harem, is there something more I can help you with? Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. Your pres- It's about time the Assembly saw sense and put Harrowmount on the throne. So Harrowmount managed to snatch the throne after all. Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. Oh, well, I should not have asked another to meet the challenge that the Maker has set before me. Best of luck to you, brother. May we both walk in the light. I'm about to fall off the world with all that sky up there. Strange? <laughs> Strange is your wife turning out to prefer the ladies, not living in a world without a bleeding ceiling. Well, let's get moving. We're losing, what you call it, daylight. Glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Ozama, indeed. <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the 
aptitude for spellcraft. She will never be able to weave the simplest magic, no matter how hard she tries. Fascinating. <laughs> I suppose the circle should be flattered. I see. If she is willing to sacrifice so much for this, then we should feel honored. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that this path will not be easy. But if she chooses it, then she is welcome here at the Circle. She will live and study with the Tranquil, and perhaps the apprentices, when it is appropriate. Ah, if only the Circle was in better shape. I fear she may be disappointed when she arrives. This will be interesting. <laughs> she could tell us much about our dwarven neighbors. Yes, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. I shall take this as an indication that perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. You've already done much for the Circle. Now you must see to your duty as a Grey Warden. I wish you well. Know you will always be welcome here. My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. You are very thorough. I'm impressed. And I am thankful you arrived when you did. I shan't keep you then. Farewell. How can I? Oh, it's you! And it's been, well, quite a while. Enough time to get to the circle and back, I hope. Oh, please tell me what they said. Ancestors, bless you! I can't believe it! There hasn't even been a dwarven observer in the circle since Yerelden in the 13th century! Uh, I, I, I need to pack. No, my parents would get suspicious. I need to go! Is there anything I should bring? Books? Tuition? Then I should go before my parents come looking for me. If you ever go to the circle again, maybe I'll see you there.
It's hard to believe we have a king again. I haven't eaten in days. Pity for a poor old man. I've been hoping you'd return to Orzammar. Oh, I have so much to tell you. The other houses repaid their debts to my house, and I had enough money to send an expedition into our old Taig. We found so many things. I kept some for you. I said I'd repay you, didn't I? I could never fully repay what you've done for me. But this is a start, I hope. Walk well. And may fortune always smile on you, Grey Warden. Don't think so.
I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage for the moment is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen, and I lead her armies. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the turn before witnesses. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions to the throne. I should put my faith in untried foreign hands. Do you think I'm blind? Kalen depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon.
I would not ask you to. But bear in mind that he will be well protected by his alliance with Loghain. He always seemed the kind of man who enjoyed kicking stray dogs. I would not have thought Loghain would trust him. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the lands meet then. His lordship sends no notices coming, and now the house is full of guests. And Rusty preserved it will be the death of me. I see it found some augmentation crystals. I was not even aware it knew about them. Well done. So, what does it think? They don't make me look any wider, do they? I find I'm already too wide as it is. Spoil sport. I think they're lovely. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want to glitter from ear to ear, so to speak. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. Here I am. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. Um. If they keep tracking mud up here, it's going to take a month to get it all out. Is it true that? <laughs> what you need? You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. Aye, I'll teach you. Just be ready. To be a berserker, you have to face your own inner rage. Let the spirit of battle take over. And all that dust. There's a whole pile of philosophical rot that goes behind it. But the bedrock is this. Get real mad and kill things. 
I can teach you what gets my hackles in a twist, but no one can tell you what'll set off that killing rage in you. Finding that is the key to berserking. Once you got that, I tell you, the ladies love it when you're all mysteriously angry for no reason. Trust me. You're a quick study, Warden. You must have been seriously steamed up about something for a long time. What the sod is there to know? You get mad, you fly into battle, and things die. It's pretty simple. The hard part is getting in touch with your rage. We all learn to hold that back. It's why we don't kill every duster who looks at us sideways. You need to shut that off. For some people, being in battle is enough. But others have to think about something. Violence, monsters, nobles, your wife, whatever. Aye, all right then. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. No, I'm from Redcliffe. Lady Isolde brought me here to be her chambermaid last spring. I have family here, though. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. I await your command. This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. Yes. As you wish. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. The Queen. She is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denrum? It's only a matter of courtesy, and she demands answers. Things no decent person would repeat. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, Especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. I have some uniforms. Arl Howe hires so many new girls every day, a few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. <laughs> 